and when it goes beyond a certain point that you get totally possessed by your own thought. Almost ninety percent of the human suffering is in just this. It's my wish and my blessing that you must get out of the prison of your own mind and know the beauty of creation. Lethargy comes from overconsumption of either food or thought. One may think how overconsumption of thought would bring lethargy, though everyone can understand overconsumption of food definitely brings lethargy. Well, if you become consumed by thought, you will see you would not like to move out of your bed. I did not talk about thinking, I'm talking about overconsumption of thought. That means thought is continuously flowing without your effort, without your focus, without your intent. Once it becomes like this, you will see naturally you feel like avoiding physical activity and when it goes beyond a certain point that you get totally possessed by your own thought. Well, there are ugly names to describe that in medical terms. It's important. There is a certain amount of moderation in consumption of food and the endless amount of thought that could happen. Thinking consciously and just consuming or living upon thought or being consumed by thought are very different things. That is an unfortunate reality that for a whole lot of people, this distinction is not apparent and the price that humanity is paying for that is not a fair price. The conclusions that you make in your mind will seriously impede your ability to experience life. The stronger your conclusions are, the more you get identified with it, the more the psychological reality that you have seems like existential. Almost ninety percent of the human suffering is in just this, you misunderstand your psychological drama to be real. It's your drama, you can play it whichever way you want. If you're a good director of drama, you would make it the way you want it, otherwise it's happening haphazardly. Well, this is the reality of existence, how beautiful it is, but most people choose to live in their mind because they have made strong conclusions and it's no more a choice as to where they live. It's time you live on this planet, experience the beauty of creation and also the presence of the creator in this creation. Just pay enough attention to every aspect of creation and you will see the presence of the source of creation in it. This is what you need to experience. The psychological drama is your making. It is too puny compared to the existential drama that's happening here. It's time you enjoy this. It's my wish and my blessing that you must get out of the prison of your own mind and know the beauty of creation. The fundamental, the most fundamental aspect that you need to take care of is that you don't make conclusions. If you do not make conclusions, the doors of your mind will not close.
If you apply only your intellect, ignoring other aspects of your intelligence, you will get confused about every little thing in life because intellect is a cutting instrument. It's like a knife. If you want to dissect, it's a good instrument. But if you try to sew with a knife, you will be left in tatters. Well, that is what most human beings are experiencing right now, that they are using a cutting instrument to stitch, to put things together. Well, the more effort that you make, the more into bits and pieces human beings will become within themselves. There was a time they divided the world, then they divided more and more. You have seen this, there was a time people could live together. There were families in India where there were four hundred, six hundred people in one family living in one house. Then slowly it became just uh, parents and children and grandchildren. Now grandparents became a little bit of a problem, so we send them elsewhere. Now children become a problem, we send them elsewhere. And slowly husband and wife are living in separate houses, meeting on weekends. Not just that, within yourself you split yourself into many people by cutting yourself into pieces because this is the process of dissection. If you use only your intellect for every dimension of life, this is where you will get. One day you will get schizophrenic, yes. So it's important, the other dimensions of intelligence come alive within you. Without those dimensions of intelligence being alive, your heart wouldn't beat, your liver wouldn't function, your kidney wouldn't function, all this wouldn't happen. This is not done by your intellect. So there are dimensions of intelligence within you which must be explored and brought alive into your conscious nature.